the best way to deal with a fire is to use the right fire extinguisher while the fire is still small enough. As you can see here, there are several different types of extinguisher, but it's very unlikely that you will have anything like this display to choose from. A thorough fire risk assessment of your premises should have been carried out, so the extinguishers to hand should be the right ones for the job, though you should never take this for granted. But why are there so many different types of extinguisher in the first place? It's horses for courses. There are different types of extinguisher because there are different types of fire, officially six in all, although for all practical purposes there are only three or four you really need to know about. Hopefully, the decision as to which type of extinguisher to use will have already been taken for you. But if your place of work has multiple fire risks, you may also need to decide whether or not the extinguisher to hand is the right one for the fire. For a fire involving combustible solids, most extinguishers are suitable. The best is water. For flammable liquids, such as oil, spirits or petrol, use foam, powder or carbon dioxide. Don't use water. For burning liquids that are contained, foam is the most effective, but you can also use dry powder or carbon dioxide. A fire blanket is another way of dealing with it. For spilled or running liquids, powder is best, but you can also use carbon dioxide. For fires involving electrical equipment, carbon dioxide is best, but powder works nearly as well. Never use water, foam or wet chemical on an electrical fire. And faced with a fire in a deep fat fryer, by far the most effective extinguisher is the wet chemical, which turns the oil to soap. More generally, don't try to fight a fire if there's a possibility of your escape route being cut off, or if you're not sure that you can deal with the fire. Don't carry on fighting a fire if it carries on getting bigger in spite of your efforts. Don't even think about fighting a fire if pressurized gas cylinders or aerosols are involved and don't try to move them either. And don't try to be a hero. If the fire gets out of hand, leave at once and close the door behind you. How do our two victims feel about it now? I think it went pretty well. The practical experience was great and it's made me much more confident now. I mean, that bit of the fire blanket was quite scary, wasn't it? Absolutely. Why not satisfy your curiosity and check out where the nearest extinguishers are to you? And when you find them, check out the colour zone to see what type they are and make a mental note of the correct technique for using it. You never know when that knowledge could help prevent a small fire becoming a disaster for you and your company.